Hi, I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. And over the last several weeks, I have devoured this book, Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art by James Nestor. It's the most recent book my book group is reading. And because of what I learned from this book, I took a three-day course in Sardashana Kriya a breathwork and meditation combo taught by the nonprofit organization Art of Living. I'll talk more in length about that in next week's vlog. And I've started taping my mouth shut at night while I sleep. What? <laughs> taping your mouth shut? Yes, you heard me right. I'm taping my mouth shut while I sleep to ensure that I breathe entirely through my nose. Now let me tell you why. The, the author of the book, Breath, James Nestor, enrolled in a 10-day experiment. For 10 days, he plugged his nose and breathed solely through his mouth. You might be as horrified by that prospect as I was. Um, the few days a year I'm stuffed up and forced to breathe through my mouth during sleep are really, truly restless nights for me. Or you might be a chronic mouth breather due to allergies, um, asthma, or other ailments, and you're thinking, so what? Mouth breathing, nose breathing, it's all breathing. What's the difference and who cares? Well, it turns out it's a pretty big deal. It makes a massive difference to your health and you should care. During Nestor's 10 day experiment, his blood pressure spiked by 13 points, pushing him into an unhealthy range. His heart rate variability, um, a measure of nervous system balance plummeted suggesting increased stress, his pulse increased, body temperature decreased, and his athletic ability also decreased. Mouth breathing while sleeping causes the body to lose 40% more water. And you'd think you would need to use the restroom less, yet the opposite is true. The pituitary gland secretes hormones that communicate with cells to store more water during the deepest part of sleep. This is how animals sleep through the night without needing to relieve themselves. But uh, if the body has inadequate time in deep sleep, as it does in chronic states of sleep apnea or mouth breathing, the necessary hormones aren't secreted. The kidneys release water, which triggers the need to urinate, and we get thirsty. Furthermore, studies show that the soft nasal passages shrink or cave in without you. So, so if you favor mouth breathing due to obstructed nasal cavities, it will only get worse over time. Research shows that nasal cavities shrink without use, but never fear. They also expand with use. So start breathing through your nose as much as you can. After the 10 day experiment, Nestor removed his nose plugs. Then after another 10 days of breathing again through his nose, all Nestor's negative markers reversed. Blood pressure dropped to pretest levels, his heart rate variability returned to normal, his pulse rate decreased, body temperature increased, his athletic ability returned, and his fatigue, stress, and brain fog reversed. Now, he sleeps with mouth tape. He uses a small two inch strip in the middle of his lips, leaving the sides of his mouth free. My book group friend has purchased an X-shaped piece of tape from Amazon. If you search mouth tape on Amazon, you will find multiple options. That somehow reassured me that I'm not so crazy taping my mouth shut. Well, or maybe I am, and, and I just have a lot of company in my craziness. <laughs> so I'm currently using Johnson & Johnson one and a half inch wide bandage tape and I put a two to three inch piece horizontally across my mouth. I prefer to entirely cover my mouth. I suggest experimenting and then decide what works best for you. I'm still getting up once a night to use the restroom, but I'm optimistic that will change soon and I will be sleeping entirely through the night. I'll keep you posted. Um, I also have excellent blood pressure, so I haven't noticed a difference there. Uh, I used to wake up with a dry mouth periodically throughout the night and sip water. Now I drink my entire 20 ounce bottle of water first thing in the morning. For anyone with high blood pressure, frequent nighttime restroom users, or those who wake uh, with morning dehydration headaches like my book group buddy used to do before mouth taping, I would suggest experimenting with taping your mouth shut while you sleep. I'm Liz Moser.
a Mayo Clinic, a national board certified health and wellness coach. And thank you for watching this video about the benefits of breathing through your nose and mouth taping at night. If you have any questions about this blog, health, wellness, or wellness coaching with me, please reach out via my website at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now, be well, and I will see you next week with another video.